I don't know what my algorithm is tripping on because this is not supposed to be on it. I don't I don't do this. Uh, this is a particular type of trans woman and it's a loud minority. The majority of trans women are just fine being trans women. They respect other respectful women. They don't try to take over their spaces. And they're just trying to live their life as authentically as they can. And then you have trans women, the small, loud minority, that just brought their misogyny over with them. And they're completely cognitively dissonant about it. And they constantly speak over cis women. I wouldn't call it mansplaining because that's insulting their gender. Transplaining? This type of trans woman is the loud minority. And I don't want this type of trans woman making those that don't know trans women think that they're all this way. So that's why I'm going to do this video. See, that's the wild part that a lot of cisgender people are not willing to accept is you can't just opt out of the way that gender functions in society, whether you like it or not. Yes, anybody can opt out of anything in society that they don't agree with. We would literally still have slavery in America if you couldn't opt out. When we talk about women, we are inherently including transgender and cisgender women. If you don't want to be included in the label woman, oh my gosh, by all means, whatever label works for you, works for you. No, when you state all women, you are including trans women. A lot of people don't like labels. So we're allowed to not want to be labeled. And if you have a problem with that, you have a problem with women. No, that means they have a problem with trans women, which is not okay. And just because you don't like the label cis because you have transphobia to unlearn. That's not transphobia, literally at all. That's someone who doesn't want to be labeled like you do, which they are allowed to want to not be labeled. Just unlearn your crap. <laughs> <laughs> or recognize your cognitive dissonance with your own misogyny. And for those that question my use of the word misogyny, do you see this happening in the female to male side of the trans world? No, you don't. I said this once, and apparently I have to say it again, but your relationship to sexual violence does not define your gender. But I'll be damned if we define womanhood or any gender by our relationship to how much assault we experience. You don't get to define womanhood. And you don't get to downplay, because that's what you're doing. You don't get to downplay the fact that 91% of reported victims are biologically female regardless of gender biologically female why it is possible trans women have periods so let's see what causes a period each month one of the ovaries releases an egg called ovulation at the same time Hormonal changes prepare the uterus for pregnancy. If ovulation takes place and the egg isn't fertilized, the lining of the uterus sheds through the vagina. Okay, so we know that part's not happening. Because your HRT shots do not go up. They don't vary. See what I'm saying? So there's no hormonal changes that would cause the other thing, which are the menstrual, the PMS symptoms. The cramps, the bloating, the fatigue, the nausea, all of it. Bloating, cramps, and the cramps are killer sometimes. Your cramps are psychosomatic because you do not have a monthly uptick in the hormones that cause the uterus to contract, which is the cramps. What you're having is what you had before, and it's linked to the genetic male side of you. It's just now you notice it because you're identifying as female. It's kind of like, I'm going to tell you right now that most of the cars that you see on the road right now are white. You didn't know that until I just told you. Now when you go out to drive, you're going to notice how many white cars are around you, which is called the Bader-Meinhof phenomenon. Biological sex is fake. Yeah, that's a complete lie. All you have to do is look in any scientifically proven 
resource by scientist. It's very true. And ignoring it can be fatal medically. There are exceptions, but it's only 1.7% of the entire world population. And knowing, reporting that, the fact that you're intersexed, is extremely important medically. It can be fatal if not acknowledged. So please interact and repost because it's these loud, wrong minority that are getting all the airplay. It's, it's all people are hearing. It's the loud, wrong ones.